Warning, the following video is performed by a trained professional. It is meant for educational purposes only. Please do not attempt to try anything you see here. Enjoy. Hello everybody, Dan from Southpaw Computing again, and we got a uh, repair report here for uh, Mike in New Haven. I guess it's not working correctly, but uh, just cracked the case open. Uh, I'm going to turn on the machine, see uh, see what we got going on here. So let's give this guy a go. Oh, all right. Well, that guy boots up over here. We got uh, something's going on over here. Yep, there he is. I'm going to have to have that replaced because that's a little obnoxious, but this fan is actually pretty good. And uh, what do we got going on over here? Still booting up. Ooh, all right. Alrighty, so it looks like one of these bad boys is bad. I'll probably have to get a little uh, bit of the air compressor going on in here, but um, yeah. Let's do the work and revisit the machine. We'll be back. All right, we're back. Uh, before any work got done, I uh, tried to boot off one of my bootable discs here. And uh, this is uh, common with older machines, but what we got here is when you try to hit that eject button, I don't know if you could hear that. Get a little closer. You just hear a clunking noise. Um, typically happens when uh, CD drives don't get used too much. So um, what I uh, normally do is if uh, you got small paper clips hanging around the house, uh, the, not the larger ones, and there's a tiny little hole on every single CD-ROM and DVD drive there. And uh, you could basically forcibly get it to eject. It's basically been stuck closed for so long that you just give it a little tug and voila! Now it'll close, and then if you hit it one more time, voila, it's unstuck. So, little tech tip there while we go through uh, the paces. So, um, yeah. Uh, we'll be back. All right, welcome back. So we're pretty much done here. Um, just to show you inside here, it blown out all that ancient dust from this uh, this old machine here. But uh, we was showing you before, fan's been replaced. Everything's uh, working not, uh, very nicely. The uh, 500 gig drive that was in there before that was defective was replaced. Uh, copied the data from the old uh, drive over, and as you can see, she's working very well. And that's pretty much it. As always, uh, check out our website. It's www.southhawkct.com. And uh, that's all for now. Take care.